when we proclaim your great name, your great name, and we love to call your name, it's something we cannot explain, that happens when we proclaim your great name. explain that happens when we proclaim your great name your great name king jesus no other name king jesus not stronger when we call on you things change yeah, when we call on your name yeah
in the misty in the oceans deep my faith will stay I will call upon your name Rise, my soul will rest in your embrace For I am yours And you are mine His waters, your sovereign hand will be my guide. Where feet may fail and fear surrounds me, you've never failed, and you won't start now. And I will call upon your name and keep my eyes above the waves when oceans rise my soul will rest in your embrace for I am yours and you are mine without borders let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me take me deeper than my feet could ever wander and my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior Spirit lead me where my trust is without borders let me walk upon the waters wherever you will call me take me deeper than my feet could ever wander and my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior Borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander, and my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon these waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander, and my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior.
Come on, give him some praise. Come on, give him the glory. Come on, extend yourself and give God the glory up in this place. You ought to praise him. You ought to praise him. You ought to praise him like you done lost your mind. You asked a question. You said, ocean deep, take my feet above the waters. That was your request. You made an acknowledgement. You asked God to do something. You asked God to take you above the storm. You asked God to defy gravity on your behalf. I'm telling you right now, I heard the Holy Spirit as I was walking around here praying today. I heard him say, expansion, expansion, expansion. God is about to expand somebody. But let me tell you something. In that word expansion, it means to expand like a rubber band. God got to stretch you. Don't ask God to expand you if you're not ready to be stretched. Stretched out of your comfort zone. Stretched out of your position. Stretched out of your mind. Stretched out of your self. Stretched out of your spirit. Stretched out of your soul. Stretched out of your direction. What you want to do. Oh, hey. Come on, you need to pray. You need to pray. You need to talk to him. You need to acknowledge him. You need to get out of yourself. You need to get out of yourself. It's not what you want to do. It's not about you. It's all about him. You ought to come on and give God some glory. You ought to come on and give God the praise. You ought to come on and worship him. You ought to come on and get out of your mind. Come on, somebody. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You ought to give God the glory up in this place. The glory of the Lord is in this place. The Lord is here. The Lord is here. The Lord is here. It ain't about you. It's not about me. It's all about him. It's all about him. I see it in a vision. I see it. I see a, a, a small rubber band being stretched. And I see it 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 being stretched. See, if that was happening in the natural, it would have popped by now. But I hear the Holy Spirit said, because I'm doing the expanding, it would never pop. It would never pop. I'm taking you places where you'll never pop. I'm taking you places where you'll never break. I hear the Holy Spirit say, I'm taking you places that you're prepared for because I'm preparing you. I'm the one that's doing the stretching. It's not you doing the stretching because if you were stretching yourself, you'll be educated. If you were stretching yourself, your intellectualism will be ready for it. If you were stretching yourself, your mindset will be ready. But I hear the Lord saying, well, I'm taking you. It's all about me. I'm taking you there. I'm making the preparation for you to get there. I hear the Lord saying, you ought to come and go with me. God, I say, oh, son. Take me to a place without borders. Take me to a place where there's nothing that can stop me. Somebody say direction. Somebody say direction. I need direction. For this next move in my life, I need direction. For this next step I'm about to take, I need direction. This next decision I'm about to make, I need direction. The reason why you're confused is because you're trying to figure it out on your own. The reason why you're confused is because God didn't give you clarity. He's already told us to walk by faith and not by sight. God said, the next place I'm taking you you're going to be afraid to go because it's, it's a faith move. Somebody says it's a faith move. Thank 
God for the best band in all the world. Thank God for the best band in all the world. Amen. Isaiah the guitarist. Amen. Y'all boys, y'all some bad boys. Amen. Thank God for our per percussionists over there on the drums. Amen. And our keyboard player, the music man. The music man. Lonnie, the music man. Thank God for him. Thank God for this band coming over with us today. What's your name, Don? Anijah. Thank God for Anijah. Amen. 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 And Isaiah. 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 Amen. Thank God for these gentlemen that come to grace us in worship today. And amen. Anaya. Praise God for her. Amen. Amen. She's a worship team all by herself. Let me tell you something. I'm going to say, say this and then I'm going to move on into the message because we don't have a whole lot of time. I got to prepare myself to lead the country. Amen. But in the meantime, I'm here. Somebody said we're here and we got to do business right here. But let me say this to you. Lucifer. Lucifer was the, the sound giver in heaven Lucifer had many instruments in his voice he would sing so melodically until it moved God it moved God into the future that he would pin through David and he would say make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye lands, all you inhabitants, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I need you to take Lucifer's place because he was the one that made the sound. He was the one that led the worship. And the, and the name Lucifer means Lucifer. Lucifer. It, it means, and watch this now, it, it celebrates. Somebody says celebrate. Celebrate, hallelujah, hallelujah, Lucifer, hallelujah, somebody say Lou, hallelujah, Lucifer, Lucifer was the one who brought celebration to God. Y'all better walk with me today. He brought celebration, he celebrated God in his place. He celebrated God while he was in his place. He celebrated God. And my question to you, are you celebrating God in your place? Are you celebrating God right where you are? Can you celebrate God where you are right now? Because you'll never get to where you're going if you can't celebrate God where you are. Oh, I, that, that should y'all should have been throwing money and, and y'all should have been running around the church when I said that right there. Some, sometimes we don't know when to celebrate. But, but, but I need to say this to you because many of us are going places. Many of us, God is expanding us to new places, new horizons, new dimensions. And he's doing that. But if you can't celebrate him where you are, you won't celebrate him where you're going. You got to be able to celebrate God in the least of things so you can be celebratory in the greatness of things. Can I walk this thing the way I feel it? Turn your Bibles. Turn your Bibles. I'm, let me run like a madman. Let me just run. Let me run. Let me run because we, we got to go. We got to go. We got to go. Uh, turn your Bibles to Psalms. Psalms 119. And 133 Psalms verse uh, volumes 119 verse 133 let's walk it the way I feel it somebody holler I need direction I need direction I need direction the first thing we ask for when invited someplace that we're not familiar with is direction the address only gives the location or the destination we oftentimes and I'm one of those people I'm from the old school GPS and and all that don't don't really mean much to me because I don't trust Siri I don't trust them I really don't I don't trust directions given to me by a computer chip in a car y'all help me out a little bit a navigational system somebody say GPS uh, see we need as believers we need our GPS is God's positioning system God has given us 
his Holy Spirit. Somebody say Holy Spirit. Jesus said when he come, he would teach you all things. The Holy Spirit will. The Holy Spirit will check you when you're going in the wrong direction. Can I get me a witness? Uh, the Holy Spirit would check you when you're getting ready to say the wrong thing. Help me, somebody. I remember on last night, we went to a, a, a birthday celebration. And the whole time I heard the GPS talking, I was lost. Even though the GPS was giving direction, I was lost because I didn't know where we were going. Y'all better help me. I, I knew the address, but I didn't know where we were going. Can, can we can we go to walk this thing where we're feeling it? See, because when you're walking by faith, you know where you're going but you don't know how you're going to get there. That's when you're walking by faith. I know where I'm going, but I don't know how I'm going to arrive. <laughs> That's the scary part. The scary part is I don't know how I'm going to arrive. I'm, here I am riding in the vehicle of the Holy Spirit. Help me, somebody. I'm riding in the vehicle of the Holy Spirit. He's navigating me the entire way, and I'm just sitting as a passenger, and I don't know how in the world. Y'all better help me. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I see it's dark. It's, I ain't no lights on this street. And I, if, if, if an animal dart out in front of the car, I might hit him because I don't see him coming, y'all. But have, see, the Lord would take you somewhere and you don't see everything that's coming. Because I believe if I saw everything that was coming, I won't even go. Help me somebody. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take a trip if I knew I'm going to be kidnapped. <laughs> Y'all better help me up in here. If I, if, if I knew in advance that I was going to be a hostage, I, I, I won't go. I won't do it. But, but, but watch this. Watch this. Joseph asked his daddy, could he go out and check on his brothers? If he'd known that he was going to be sold into slavery, I don't think Joseph would have took that. Y'all better help me, somebody. I don't think Joseph would have took that trip. But let me tell you something. David, I'm not, Joseph taking that trip put him in a position to be favored. See, sometimes your obstacles in life, sometimes your, your, your situations in life, your circumstances in life will prepare you for favor. Somebody say favor. But favor, favor. He asked his father, and his father directed him to where his brothers were. And he went out there with his favorite self. He went out there hated by his brothers. Yeah, he was the hated child, the last born. He was the last born. He was the baby boy, and his brothers didn't like him. They didn't like him because they saw favor on his life. People won't like you when they see favor on your life. Y'all help me out here. They won't, when they see favor on your life, they won't like you. And you're wondering why they don't like you. And you're you looking at yourself like you did something wrong. You ain't did nothing wrong. It's what's on you. Yeah, you wear favor. Y'all help me. I say you wear favor. See, Joseph had a colorful coat that his daddy made for him. He was wearing the coat, but, but what he was wearing wasn't the favor. The favor was he was wearing was he was born with it. Help me see. He wasn't born with that coat on, but he was born with favor. See, when you're born with favor, you're going to go through some stuff. Uh, I wonder, I, I, I often scratch my head. Can I walk this thing the way I feel it? Because we're going in the direction. We're going in the direction. I, I, I scratch my head sometimes, Lonnie, because I, I wonder how in the world could Joseph go from Potiphar's house to Pharaoh's prison? Y'all help me. I'm still trying to figure that one out. Geographically, how could he go from Potiphar's house to Pharaoh's prison? Lord have mercy. See, favor would take you to destinations. You don't even, you don't even, you don't, you, you can't even, you, you couldn't, you couldn't imagine yourself being in Pharaoh's house. Watch this. Being in Pharaoh's prison, being set up by God to be in Pharaoh's prison. But before you get there, there's some people who got to know something about you. That you're a dream interpreter, the butler and the baker. He had to, he had to meet them while he was in Potiphar's. <laughs> I'm about to holler up in here. Oh yeah. <laughs> he, see, see, he he was the, the, the jail keeper. He was he was the, the, the prison keeper. That's what he was. But and, and then uh, see some sometimes people have to have to talk about you. I, I'm, I'm about to preach here a little bit. <laughs> see, see. See, uh, Potiphar's wife lied on Joseph in order for Joseph to be put out of Potiphar's house. 
<laughs> Somebody said, God is stretching you. Uh, God, God is stretching you. So, so he got to be falsely accused by Potiphar's wife to go to Pharaoh's prison in order for him to be the head of all the Pharaoh's stuff. To, for him to be next in command. For him to be the next in charge next to Pharaoh, know more about Pharaoh's business than Pharaoh know. He had to be set up and lied on. Y'all better help me. Y'all better help me. See, lied, lied on don't feel good. Mm. Joseph didn't feel good being lied on. Matter of fact, he didn't even feel good being forgotten because he interpreted two dreams while he was in prison. But only one of them remembered him. Only, only one of them rec recognized that, that Joseph had the answer to Pharaoh's dream. Oh, I'm about to preach up in here. See, see, the Lord, the Lord will allow you to be set up. Watch this. He'll let you be set up by somebody you met last year for your next move. I said for your next move, I'm prophesying. I'm prophesying. See, you met somebody a year ago who's gonna who, who's gonna help you be blessed in your next move. I'm about to holler up in here. I, I, I see a promotion coming that you met 12 months ago. Y'all better help me. You met somebody 12 months ago, and God's positioning you for your promotion 12 months later. I need some direction, Lord. I need your help here. Now, 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 David, David, King David. Somebody say King David. Ah, uh, before he was King David, he was David the shepherd boy. And while he was the shepherd boy, God had a prophet by the name of Samuel. He stirred Samuel up. And he said, Sammy, I need you to go down to Jesse's house. I need you to take that horn of oil. I feel good today, y'all. I need you to take that horn of oil. And I, I need you to, to, anoint, to anoint the next king of Israel. Uh, but I got to give you the narrative to the story because the only reason why God had Samuel to go and anoint the next king over Israel, he had to demote somebody for him to be promoted. Oh, y'all better help me. <laughs> God going to demote somebody for you to be promoted. Are y'all ready for it? Are you ready for it? See, there's going to be a demotion for your promotion because D David was the one. Uh, he was the one who, who wrote in Psalm 75 and 6. He said, he said uh, promotion comes neither from the west nor from the south, but promotion comes from the Lord. Watch this. He would take down one. He'll demote one. And he'll promote another one. <laughs> I feel good tonight. Listen, God is taking you somewhere that he's going to have to take somebody down for you to get there. King Saul had to be demoted for, for David to be promoted. And wow, Samuel, see, 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 you got to understand something. Watch this. You got to understand something because Samuel was a prophet. Don't mean that he was getting it right when he was making the selections. See, see, sometimes we call people a false prophet because they got it wrong. I'm about to preach up in here. See, see, Samuel was not a false prophet. He was just he 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 was just confused. <laughs> see, you could be a prophet and be confused. I wish I had me a witness. <laughs> see, see, he had all them boys lined up. He had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven boys lined up there. So therefore, he assumed. Somebody say assume. <laughs> um, I don't want to tell y'all what that means, but but what you'll get it. That you'll get it after a while. He took that all and he assumed that he would because the boys was lined up. He didn't want to get it wrong, so he was just gonna anoint the first one he got to and God said no 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 not this I'm about to holler up in here and and, and he, he 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 said well since I got it wrong on this one I, I guess I, I guess it's this one right here and he got ready to anoint him with that oil and said God not him either mm. he was trying to do the God thing but it wasn't the right thing. Y'all help me, y'all help me, y'all help me. I said he was trying to do the God thing, but it wasn't the right thing. I think God talking to somebody up in here. You think because it's the God thing, it's the right thing. Yeah, you say, well, I'm doing this for God. And God said, no, 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 no. That's not what I want you to do. That's not why you're born. You're not born to do that. I got something.
something else for you to do. Ow! Uh, what, what's going on, Sammy? I'm trying to figure this thing out. I'm trying to figure that. out. Well, well, let me tell you why I don't want that one and why I don't want this one. Because they, they, they weren't born to be kings. They were born to be soldiers. Don't confuse your calling. I'm about to raise my hand up in here. <laughs> I said, don't, don't confuse your calling. God called you to be a soldier and you're trying to be the king. Uh, you, you, you ain't supposed to be no king. You're supposed to be a soldier. And, 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 and then uh, Samuel tried to, he tried to anoint the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, the sixth one, the seventh one. You know that the number seven means complete. Y'all know what it means. It means finished. That's, that's the end of the thing, number seven. But, but watch this though. But, 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 but what you got to understand, he asked Jesse, Jesse, do you have any more cheering? Somebody said direction. Lord, I need direction. That's what I need. I, I need some direction. So he was doing the right thing. He was. He was. He he, he got to the seventh boy, the, the one, the completion, the finished one. And he asked Joe, uh, Jesse, do you have any more children? He said, yeah, I got one more. I got, I got a dirty boy back there. He's a nasty one. He, when, I, I didn't invite him because he's going to smell like poop when he come. He's he, he going to be real dirty, smell like sheep goat when he come. I, I didn't invite him because he don't smell good. I, don't, I didn't invite him because he don't look good. Matter of fact, I didn't invite him because he don't look qualified. The next thing that God promotes you to, you ain't going to even qualify. I'm pointing to y'all now. I'm pointing at y'all. You ain't going to even qualify for your next promotion. You, you ain't going to even, you ain't going to even look the part. You, you ain't going you, you to even fit the part. But, but God said, I'm getting ready to take you somewhere that you don't even fit in. You don't even fit in. Y'all came to be prophesied to. God got a word for you. Listen to this. Listen to this. So he brings in, oh, let me just put it like this. He drags in David. Because he didn't want him to come. No way, because he didn't invite him. So he drags in D David. So, so, so here's David showing up. Now watch this. David is the, the eighth child. Somebody say eighth one. So David is the eighth child. He's, he, he's watch this. He's the eight, num the number eight means New beginning, right? So, so he's the next child. So he's the new beginning because ain't no kings in Jesse's house. Y'all better help me. Y'all better help me. So God's about to do a new, a new thing with you. A new thing with you. A new thing with you. Hey! A new thing. Which leads me to where I'm going right now. Order my steps. Somebody say, order my steps. Lord, I need your direction. See, GPS, God's positioning system, is his word. Somebody say his word. Uh-huh. See, the reason why uh, believers oftentimes get in an error is because they sway away from the word. Y'all help me. They, they, they get a, when you get away from God's word, you're walking in an error. Yeah, when you do it outside of the word, you're walking in an error. A, a good idea is not a God idea. I'm about to holler up in here. I said a good idea is not a God idea. Just because it's a good idea don't mean you ought to do it. You, you haven't acknowledged God yet. You haven't brought God into the picture yet. You haven't brought, brought God into the situation yet. You haven't brought God into the circumstances yet. I got to tell you, David said, long he said, order my steps in thy word. Order my steps in thy word. And let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Don't let sin dominate me. Don't let sin capture me and hold me as a hostage help me somebody see it's one thing to be in sin but it's another thing to be held by sin see David said don't let it have dominion over me see if y'all know anything about David David committed adultery with uh, Bathsheba watch it watch it watch it and the reason why he committed adultery with Bathsheba is because he didn't ask God to order his steps 
He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. It ain't good to be in the wrong place at the wrong time because when you're in the wrong place, God is not invited. God don't just show up to places uninvited. I wish I had me a witness. See, when David was out there fighting, he was winning because God was invited into warfare, because God was invited into fight. Help me somebody. But when he went back to the castle, God was not with him. He couldn't hear God. Y'all better hear me. He could hear God real good when he out there fighting, but he couldn't hear God when he was out there on that balcony. I wish I had me a witness. God wasn't going to be with him while he was looking out there at Bathsheba. I wish I had me somebody. Don't ask God to bail you out of something that he didn't put you in. I wish I had me somebody. God, you would you should have been listening when he was telling you not to go. I wish I had me a witness. Here is David here. David said to God, he said, order my step. I need you, God. I need your direction. I remember the last time when I went on my own, I messed things up. I wish I had me somebody. I had a baby out of wedlock. I committed adultery with Uriah's wife and I, we had a child we conceived a child and it cost me my baby because I didn't do it your way somebody say the baby died uh, uh, the baby died because he didn't do it God's way can I preach it the way I feel it I'm listening to the Bible and I hear God saying I'm ordering your steps but I'm ordering it by my word the first thing that Jesus said unto us he said follow me which indicates that we will always need his navigation it means that always we gonna need Jesus to navigate our lives we gonna need Jesus to show us which way to go we gonna need Jesus to direct us y'all remember when he told his disciples to meet me on the other side y'all do remember that don't you and while they was on the on their voyage somebody said on their fantastic voyage while they was riding in the ship the bible says a hurricane broke out a tornado broke out a fierce wind broke out um, turbulence took place in the water and it looked dangerous to them all these mariners these experienced fishermen they was on the boat but it didn't look good they could not control the helm of that boat the water began to come in the ship the waves was over the water the waves was over the ship and the boat was sinking I wish I had me a witness but Jesus who told them to follow me I wish I had me somebody I said it was Jesus who directed them it was Jesus who told them to meet me over on the other side I wish I had me somebody when Jesus is involved when Jesus is included I come to tell you come hell or high water it don't matter what come against me the Bible says that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world I'm so glad that Jesus is in my boat I'm so glad that Jesus is in my vessel I wish I had me somebody fierce winds may come danger may come toils may come but I'm so glad I said, but I'm so glad. I said, but I'm so glad that Jesus is with me. Jesus, he knew they was in danger. I said, Jesus, he knew they were in danger. And he wasn't going to leave his boys out there in danger. And I, my Bible tells me that Jesus began to walk on water. Y'all better help me. Jesus told them. He gave them direction. Y'all help me today. He told them to meet me on the other side. And they were going and hit the storm. And here come Jesus. Y'all better help me. The reason why Jesus came because he came to help his boys. The reason why he came because he come to help them out. The reason why he came, he came to get them out of danger. Jesus! What 
I love about the Lord. He had defied gravity. He had defied nature to rescue his children. Jesus began to walk on that water. And while he was walking, the disciples who was traveling by faith, they looked out on the water. Faith didn't, faith wasn't there no more. They looked out on that water. They left by faith. But when they looked out on that water and they saw that strange figmentation, when they saw that strange silhouette of a man walking on that water, they said, that's a ghost. We don't know what that is. They got a little superstitious. Somebody said, very superstitious. I wish it had me somebody. They got a little superstitious about what was walking on that water. And they began to talk to one another. And they said, that, hey, I don't know what that is. That, that, that's, a, that's a ghost. That looked like a ghost to me. And then somebody said, I know who that is. See, when you have enough dealings with the Lord, it don't matter how far he may be. It don't matter how strange things may look. You will recognize him because it was that same one who said, I know who you are. Thou art the Christ, the son of a living God. That's the same one who's always speaking out. He said, that's Jesus. He said, Jesus, if that's you, somebody know the Bible. The Bible says, and Say in all your ways Acknowledge him And he will direct your path He said Jesus If that be you I need your direction Jesus If that's you Bid me to come Somebody say bid me to come Bid me to come That's something that God Is calling you to But you got to acknowledge him You got to say Lord If it be you Bid me to come Lord if it be you Make it plain Lord if it be you Write it out for me Lord if it be you Get me there With all With all life confusions I wish I had me somebody I'm on my way To a better place I hear Peter saying To the other disciples I ain't stand here Because we gonna drown I'm going now I'm stepping out By faith Somebody Somebody help me today. I'm stretching out by faith. I'm on my way to a better place. Jesus, somebody say Jesus. As he's walking, he's calling upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. He's walking on the water just like many of us. You're doing real good now. It's looking real good now until you get your eyes off the Lord. And then Peter began to sink. Somebody say, I need direction. I need direction. That's what Peter did. He was walking on that water. But I'm telling you something. You need to get this. I, I never saw this like this before. But you've got to see something. Peter, circumstances never change. Y'all better help me. I said it was the same storm that he came out of the water on. I said he came out the ship on the same water that where the storm was. Jesus was walking in the storm. Y'all but help me the, the storm didn't calm down because Jesus was walking in it um, Jesus was rescue you in the midst of a storm while the storm is still going on he's still taking you through even in the midst of the storm Ooh, Peter was walking in the water walking in the storm and while he was walking the Bible says he took his eyes off of Jesus and put his eyes back on the storm don't you put your eyes back on the storm. Keep your eyes fixated on Jesus. Keep your eyes pointed on Jesus. Keep your eyes zoomed in on Jesus. Keep your eyes on him.
him somebody say Jesus I put my eyes it was the same that David that said David said I lift up mine eyes unto the hills with from which cometh my help my 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 help come from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth help me up in here I'm almost done. Listen. Now here we go. Peter walked in the Torah. Peter walked in the five books of Moses. Peter, he understood the precepts and concepts of God's word. He understood. So he said, as he was sinking. Somebody said, as he was sinking. See, don't, don't let sinking make you forget where your help come from. I almost, I almost ran then. I said, don't let sinking cause you to forget where your help come from. See, sometimes, watch this. See, sometimes we wonder why, why people are still standing that you assume should have been falling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me, let me say that one more time. Let me uh, uh, rephrase it a different way. Uh, uh, some people that we posture, mm -hmm, we posture them in their old self. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we posture them in their in their ten the, the ten year ago self. <laughs> y'all y'all help me. <laughs> see see we put them in their ten year old uh, ago self, and we say I remember. Somebody say I remember. I, I I remember when they was caught up in this right here. Uh, yeah yeah. I, I remember when they was entangled in this right here. I I, I remember. But 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 I come to tell you something that that that. that that was 10 years ago and, and, and you, th you still think that they caught up in that situation that they was once in but I come to tell you the Lord said to, for me to tell you uh, that it didn't look good then but, but see the reason why they're where they are right now because they don't, they don't stay dominated with sin they don't let sin have dominion over them ha! Oh! Like you see 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 they, they different from you see you 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 like this 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 you i'm describing right now he he that's he, he who sinneth is of the devil that's you i just described you because you like you love sin you like to swim in sin you like the backstroke in sin you like to do the butterfly in sin you like to do the freestyle in sin but i come to tell you that god said oh that that one right there yeah, and he, what he does, he said, if I confess my sins, that God is faithful and he's just to forgive me of my sins and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. That was Peter sinking in the water. That was Peter going down in the water. But Peter said, Lord, save me. Lord, save me. Lord, bring me back. Lord, I I remember walking on the water. Lord, I know you able to put me back on top of the water. Lord, I know you able to put me back in my position that I once held in the church. Lord. I need, I need direction. Somebody say, I need direction. I need direction. I have to save something for Miracle Monday. I got I got I'll be back tomorrow. Miracle Monday. I'll be preaching in Cancun on Miracle Monday. I'll be back. Y'all y'all stay tuned while you Labor Day and I'm gonna be getting ready for Miracle Monday. I got to finish this message. But 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 I got to finish it with this right here. I, 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 I hear the Listen, I hear the Lord saying, He told his disciples in Matthew 4 19. He said, Come, come, come. And follow me 
and I'll make you fishers of men. What was he saying? Let me be the GPS. Let me be the one that, that lead the way. Follow me. Let me be the light unto your path. And the lamp in your pathway. Let me be the one who point out the right direction. <laughs> Let me be the one that to tell you you're going in the wrong direction. Let me be the one to tell you you're going the right way. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. There's one more thing I got to tell y'all when I was, uh, when we were coming from the party last night, the birthday party. It felt like to my my shotgun rider. It felt like we were going in the wrong direction. They said, it don't look like we're going in the right direction. Well, I think we should have turned right there. But, it, it, but, but, but watch this. Watch this. See, one thing about the GPS I do like, if you're going in the wrong direction, they'll tell you to turn around. Y'all better help me. See, if I'd have listened to my shotgun rider and turned around, I would have went in the wrong direction. But the GPS didn't tell me I was going in the wrong direction. That was the one time I trusted the GPS. Y'all help me. See, see, you, you got to learn to trust the Holy Ghost that's inside of you because he'll give you discernment and he'll tell you you're going in the wrong direction. Because your flesh, help me, your flesh will confuse you. Your, your, your flesh will give you the, the indication that you're going in the right direction, that you're doing the right thing. But I come to tell you, don't trust your flesh because there's no good thing in the flesh. You got to trust the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost. You got to trust the power of the Holy Ghost. I need direction and I said no some of them see Listen, see those are Holy Spirit tears because he's a little heartbroken. Let me tell you why. He said, the reason why you, you break my heart because I ask you one simple thing and you can't follow that one directive. And that is to acknowledge me. It is to just ask me. Don't, don't take it upon yourself to try to change, watch this, to try to change the mistake. Because if you'd have included me, you never would have been in it. Here we go, watch this. He says in Romans, Romans chapter 10, in verse number 9, he said, that thou shalt confess with thy mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you'll be saved. You'll be rescued for the rest of your life. You, you'll now be a candidate for eternal life you'll be a candidate for infinite watch this you'll be now engulfed in an endless love ha! you 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 now in favored with God 
forever. Just by acknowledging me, just by inviting me into your heart, just by inviting me into your life, God said, I would change your life forever. See, anybody who would have known me 45 years ago, known I wouldn't have been standing up here with tears in my eyes. They would have known that. But, but because I'm transformed, because I'm in touch with him, I can feel what he feels as he can feel what I feel. Y'all help me today. See, if, if we can feel what he feels, he feels what we feel. See, it's an interchanging thing. We often say we, we have not a high priest who cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. But I come to also tell you, you can feel what he feels. Help me, help, help me, help me, Hosea. See, if you can't feel what God feels, well, then why would God tell Hosea to go marry a whore? Because he wanted Hosea to see what he felt. When, when his people was out whoring on him, he wanted, he wanted Hosea to be acquainted with what whoredom felt like. Ay, 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 son. See, you can't have God's heart if you don't feel what God feels. Somebody say, I need your direction. I, I need, I need, I need direction. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to understand what was really going on because I, I didn't invite God in it. That's what it was. Now here we go. And I'm closing, Lonnie. I'm closing for real this time. I'm closing for real this time, Lonnie. This time I'm closing for real. But, but I got to say this. I got to say this. Just because God is directing you don't mean it won't be trouble. See, sometimes we confuse things in chaos. <laughs> uh, we think because things are in chaos, God ain't in it. He's in that. He's in that. Somebody said, matter of fact, that that is a, a, a clear sign that he's in it because God, God, <laughs> ooh, God loves chaos. Don't you know the whole world was in chaos when he spoke? When he spoke it into existence, when he said, let there be this and let there be that and let there be this and let there be that and let there be this and let there be that. When he was saying all that, it was chaos in the midst of chaos. I need somebody to say this by faith. I'm almost there. Say that by faith. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. See, you, you, you said, now watch this. You said, I need direction. Direction have a destination. See, I'm almost there. You, 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 you have almost arrived to your destination. I was sent a confirmation today on my on my email telling me, watch this, was telling me on my email says that this is your itinerary for your trip out of the country. Watch this. It told me, it says uh, departure. It gave me my departure time. And it told me where I'm going to be when I leave Jacksonville. It told me you're going to be in Charlotte when you leave Jacksonville. And when you leave Charlotte, you're going you're gonna to get to your destination, which is Cancun. Y'all help me out. See, watch this. In my mind, in my mind, in my imagination, I've already seen myself. Y'all better help me. Because they sent me my itinerary. My itinerary is telling me that this is what's going to happen so you can already feel... You can already get a feeling of your trip before you take off. And that's what God did for us, y'all. When we got saved... When, the day that you got saved, the, the day, the very day that you got saved, he wrote your name in the Lamb's book of life. In other words, he's telling you in your departure, because that's when you departed from sin. He's telling you in your departure, you have arrived in heaven and you haven't even gotten there yet. Your name, your name is written in the Lamb's book of life which is in heaven so in other words you on earth but you're in heaven too 
Y'all ain't get it. Y'all ain't get it. In other words, you 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 still right here, but you have already arrived. Somebody say, I'm, I have already arrived. I've already arrived. I've already arrived. I'm already in heaven because watch this. He told us that you're sitting with me in heavenly places because your name is written in the Lamb Book of Life. You're walking with me in heavenly places because your name is written in the Lamb Book of Life. You're already spirit. Somebody say, I'm already there. That's all you got to do today. You need direction for your life. Your life is in chaos. Your life is in turmoil. You want your life to improve. You want your life to get better. I'm telling you, God got the antidote. He has the answer for you. I'm going to preach it tomorrow. I ain't going to do it right now. He has the antidote for you. And he's trying to tell you, I am the way to where you're trying to arrive. I'm that better for you. I'm it. I'm, I'm that better. I'm that improved man. I'm that lover you're looking for. It's me. Somebody said looking for love in the wrong places. That's what Solomon did. And then he could pin in the, in the songs of Solomon. And he could write the heart of God and, and write a love story. Yeah, That's a good novel for you to go read said it's just like I, like two twin towers I ain't gonna say tell y'all what he said but <laughs> you go look it up for yourself <laughs> he said them things look so good it's like two twin towers that's a love story go read it for yourself it's in the book I ain't said nothing nasty I said something of nature it's natural it's in the bible somebody said it's in the bible it's, in, it's written in your book all you gotta do is give your life to the Lord that's all you gotta do when you put your hands up, you're saying, I surrender. When you put your hands up, you say, I need direction. I need you to show me the way. Even right now, right where you are, just ask the Lord. Say, Lord, forgive me for all my sins. Forgive me for my sins. I believe in my heart that you raised Jesus from the dead and he died for my sin. I believe that in my heart. I accept that in my heart right now. And right now, I believe I'm saved. I believe my name is written in the Lamb Book of Life. I believe you pinned my name in the book. Right now, I believe it. And I accept you as my Lord and Savior. And I will tell somebody. I will testify. I'll let somebody know I'm saved. And I'm not ashamed. You told me if I'd be ashamed of you, you'll be ashamed of me before the Father. I would not be ashamed of you. I will live this life holy before you. I will live upright before you. And I now thank you for saving me. I thank you for being my Lord and my Savior. I thank you. Amen. And amen. God bless you. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you all. Thank the best band in all the world. Thank you all for being with us today. We appreciate you. Thank you again for our summits. For good God Almighty, young lady. Uh, you bless my heart. You bless my heart today. We bless God for you. And I and I and I announce the blessings of the Lord upon you all. I announce God's blessings on you. I announce the blessings of God that that your life will abound. That your life will abound. That your life will abound. That God will pay you in such a way that you would it would so be so superfluously until it would blow literally blow your mind. You would wonder where is all this coming from. But I hear God saying. He said, announce it on their lives. Announce it on their lives. I hear God. Say, Saying even the blessings are going to overtake you. There's 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 there's, there's something that's about to be positioned. I see I see God positioning y'all right now, and I and I see you all playing playing for some renown, some renown. I hear renown. I, God says the renown. They are renowned, and you're gonna be background players. You're gonna be the band, the band that that they're gonna be looking for. They're gonna be looking for that sound. Somebody says say sound. Do you write? Yeah, it's, it's about to get better. It's going to go from to. I, I, I hear the Lord saying that, that you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna write a bestseller. A bestseller. You're going to write a bestseller. Also, in writing a bestseller, 
you're going to write something that's going to be copyrighted by you. God says no longer would timidity be involved. You won't be timid no more. He says he's taking that away. He's taking timidity away. No more. You won't be timid no more. He says he's taking it away. He's giving you the spirit of boldness. God says you're going to be bold as a lion. You're going to be bold as a lion. You're going you're gonna to sing with boldness. With confidence and with confidence and boldness it's yours to embrace he says he says say I got it now he says say say I got it now he says say I got it now that's what he wants you to he wants you to acknowledge say I got it now say I got it now yeah. walk in it you're gonna be walking in it starting now start now you're gonna be walking in it said the Lord mm. there's going to be a location changed a location change residence God says he's going to give you that place of your dream he's going to give you that place of your dream you're going to have it and you're, you're going to start striving for it your, 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 your steps are going to be ordered in the direction of this new residence God says I'm a don't worry about the provisions I got that I'm the provider I'm your provider the Lord is my shepherd say that the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not be in want he got you he got you all right come on y'all let's go let's go let's go let's go Yeah. 
picture, y'all. Thanks for watching and we hope you were blessed. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel at TIAC Jax and like us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching and have a blessed week.